Samsung 980 Pro on the Gigabyte TRX40 Designare motherboard. We've got four connectors on the motherboard. So the question being, where does this get the best performance? Now, the question being asked, and uh, this is not something we originally came up with. This is something you guys came up with. But we originally got this question from uh, Lee. Got my head to thinking before I could get through answering it. Then Max chimed in and he asked. So after you guys asked, hey, this video is for you guys. I said ask, we deliver. So that's what we're going to find out. Okay, we got four connectors. I want to look at the motherboard. We're going to identify that. We're going to look at the diagram to see how that all concurs so that everybody's on the same page. Then we're going to look at the images. I'll show you the first image, the second image. Now, keep in mind, we tested this drive on four different connectors. That makes one drive on four connectors with three tests. That's 12 tests. Wow. But we want to be sure and get it right because when we get through with this drive, uh, another user had asked, and I forget his name escapes me right now, but another subscriber had asked, and he said, what about testing the new Western Digital Black? I believe it's the SN850. Well, we've got one on order, so we'll go through this again when we find out when we get it. Uh, I'm just as curious as you guys are. Uh, you know, one drive to see what it'll do, which connector. Okay, now we have our test results. What I want to say before I show you the test results, because we had a chance to not only test the Samsung 980 Pro, but we decided while we were at it, because we've done this over 40 times, moving the drives around so many times, it gets confusing. We ended up putting a piece of blue painter's tape on the case so we could keep track of where that high performance drive was at. So we've tested the Samsung 980 Pro, that's a one terabyte second generation, and we've also tested the Seagate Fire CUDA 520, which is a two terabyte drive. So the boot drive is a first generation drive, and the other drive, which is what this test is all about, which is the Samsung 980 Pro, one terabyte, is a second generation drive. Now when it comes time to get the Western Digital Black SN850, which is a one terabyte, also a second generation drive, we'll run through this and test the thing again. Uh, what I want to say while I'm at this point is when you take that boot drive and take it from, remember the first two connectors are on the CPU and the second two connectors are on the chipset. So when you change that boot drive from CPU to chipset, when Windows gets ready to boot as you're going through the bootstrap process, before you get to Windows, the system may shut down. Uh, first time it happened, I thought maybe there was a Windows update. Nope. Second time it happened, I realized I had changed from chipset back to CPU. So as the system does a reset, when it powers down, just reach over to the power button, power it back up, back in business. But I just want to mention that little note to you. Because it is kind of a hassle, but uh, nothing, to be, nothing to be worried about. So. so to take a look at the stats, what we'll start with is a block diagram of the motherboard, and then we'll look at the motherboard layout. Because, because if we look at the overhead, it's difficult to see where those connectors are because this machine is up and running because we're going to be looking at those screens, looking at those numbers. Uh, but I'll show you that, and then we'll go to the next one. As we look at the overhead, the primary drive, right here, the secondary drive, you can barely see, is right next to the Titan Ridge Thunderbolt 3 card. And, of course, the third, right here, and then the fourth connector, right over here, is underneath this elongated heat sink. I think it'll make a whole lot more sense if we look at the block diagram. TRX40 Designare Motherboard Block Diagram. The first two M.2 sockets tied to the CPU are M2M and M2Q tied to the chipset are M2P and M2C. Now to get an idea where those are at as we look at this diagram, you can see right here the first one, which is M2M, would sit right underneath the video card. M2Q right here, which is right next to the by 8 slot, that's where the Titan Ridge Thunderbolt 3 card sits. The third one, M2P, right over here on the far left, and then over here on the far right, not last but not least, is the M2C. And these two last two, M2P and M2C, are the ones that are tied to the chipset. So now let's look at the information we've got. We'll go through the screens. I'll bring up one screen, then we'll do a highlight. And what I'm going to do is show the first connector with the first drive. Then I'll show the first connector with the second drive. The first drive being what this is all about, which is the Samsung 980 Pro. And then we'll go st step through that as we go through connector one, first drive, second drive, connector two, so forth and so on until we get to number four. Then I'm going to bring up a WordPad document where I've got all that number information easier to see. And as I have uh, documented all that information, according to those specs, we'll add to that when we get a chance to get our hands on this third drive. Got one on order. All we can do is wait. So let's take a look at that. If you'll notice, we've run this test over 54 times, and we'll look at the first connector, two drives, 
second connector two drives, third connector and fourth connector each two drives. And the first connector, first drive will be the Samsung 980. So as we zoom in on this, this is the Samsung drive. And on that first connector, these two connectors are on the processor. So for the first connector, Samsung drive, 6,656, and the right, 5,012. Now we'll go to the C drive, which is the boot drive. That gets just under 5,000 for the read, just under 4,300 for the write. Now we'll go to the next connector. And here on the Samsung drive, we get 6773 on the read and 4935 on the write. Now we'll look at the second connector for the C drive, which is the boot drive. And again, that's just under 5000 for the read and just under 4300 for the write, 4274. Now we'll step over to the third connector. We're again looking at the Samsung drive. If you notice right here, it says D. So we're now at 6398 and we are on the chipset. And our write is 4950. So as we step through this, we're looking at the C drive, boot drive, just under 5,000 and just under 4,300 for the right, 4,266. Now we'll go to the last connector. And again, this is the Samsung drive. This is on the chipset. We're 6,392. This is on the chipset for the read. And for the right, we're 4,945. And then, of course, for the last drive, which is the boot drive, we're a hair over 5,000 and we're 4,261 on the rights. So interesting information as we go back and forth, but what I wanted to be uh, consistent with was connector one, one drive, second drive. Connector two, one drive, second drive. Three and four, one drive, second drive. So now I'm gonna show you a WordPad document where I think all that'll make a little bit more sense. That's what I'm hoping. Don't mean to confuse you, but uh, there's a lot of information and uh, I think it's quite fascinating now that we've done it. And I wanna thank, to reiterate, I wanna thank Lee and Max for bringing this question up. You guys asked for it, we're doing it. So the WordPad document. Now these are the M.2 connectors on the TRX40 Designare, the Gigabyte motherboard. We're looking at the first M.2 connector for, for two drives. So we've got first connector and second connector. If you notice, I've got in bold, the read for that Samsung 980 Pro is 6,656 megabytes, and for the right, 5,012. And if we go down here to the second one, which is on the second connector, because these are both on the processor. 6773. So what we get from that, based on that one drive alone, the second connector, which is tied to the CPU, is the fastest connector. The second connector for that drive is faster than the first connector, which I didn't expect based on the reads, based on those numbers. And if we take a look now at, again, the first connector for the Seagate Fire Cuda, it gets just under 5,000 for the read and just under 4,300 for the write. Now with that Seagate Fire Cuda on the second connector, it goes from 4,994 to 4,997, so pretty close. And if you look at the write on that drive, it goes from 4,273 to 4,274. So what I get from this so far, based on the first generation versus second generation, that connector, either one or two, that ties to the CPU, doesn't matter on a first generation drive. But it seems to matter quite a bit on the second generation drive. That's what I get out of this so far. That's just my take on it. See what you think of it. This is one of those things you're going to want to look at and study a little bit. And you may want to see it over and over again. So what we'll do is we'll put the time on there where each one of these are at so you can go back and forth and freeze it and take a look at it and see the results. And all this information I will also put uh, in the description of the video so you can refer to it just like we're doing right now. Hope that'll help. A lot of information. But I got to tell you, after four days of testing, I want to be sure I got this right. So let's go down to the third connector. The third connector for the Samsung. Okay, 63. And remember, we are now on the chipset. 6398 for the read, 4950 for the write. Now, down here in bold, on the last connector, the fourth connector, the Samsung 980 Pro, 6392. So 6398 versus 6392. And then if you look at the right, 4950 versus 4945. So to me, that's a pretty even spread. And if you want to, you know, split hairs, it looks like the first connector, uh, which is back this direction to the back of the board, is a faster than the one that's out further. But really, as far as the chipset goes on a second generation drive, that doesn't matter. For the, the fastest connector seems to be connector number two to the CPU. That's what we got so far. Now, let's look at the Seagate, see what that tells us. Okay, on the third connector, which is on the chipset for the Seagate Fire Cuda, we get 49.94 on the read and 42.66 on the write. 
and on that fourth connector we get 5002. So it looks like for a first generation drive that last connector or the, or the uh, fourth connector is uh, just a hair tad bit faster but but not not a whole lot faster. Now again again to reiterate your results may vary. They may differ from what we've got and this is not scientific by any means. I got to emphasize that. But just the fact that we did this and we're looking at it it's like uh, I have to zoom in and zoom out about it because it's uh it's I don't want it to be confusing but it uh, kind of leaves you scratching your head and it's like well that's interesting. And and I think that gets us on all the connectors. So that's pretty much the deal of it. We've now looked at two drives, each on four connectors on this motherboard. And we have another drive we're going to look at, and we'll look at it through all four connectors. Now that drive we won't have to test as many times, and we won't be going back and testing the C drive. And I really don't see a need to test the 4 terabyte Sabre. Don't want to wear that drive out. But I will test the Western Digital Black SN850 as soon as we get our hands on it. We'll get a video up on it. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this. I want to thank you for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate what y'all are doing. Uh, what a wonderful family. You guys have any questions or need some help? That's what we're here for. And uh, next video. Thanks for watching. So now we know. So that was a quickie. This shouldn't take too long. I hope you enjoyed that. You can bookmark it. I'll put the times in there. So as you look at the description, if you want to cut to the chase, that way you'll have the facts. I want to thank you for watching. This is Builder By. My name is Gil Boyd. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Unless another question comes up that needs a video. Next interface, a USB audio interface. Subscribe, like, comments. On to the next video. We are out. <laughs>